What's going on guys and uh, it's Arrow here and we're doing some tips and tricks video so if you do guys do enjoy this video remember to like comment and subscribe and uh, this is sort of something that you guys have been asking for from me which is pretty weird as I don't always do the best gameplays <laughs> but whatever you see is how I normally play uh, I am a rank gold one which is pretty much one away from the best thing in the game but yeah, uh, let me give you some tips. The first tip I would say is to be unpredictable, okay? So, you're new to the game and you don't really know what you're doing. Uh, you have a... There's a hostage situation in... I would say, yeah, there's a hostage situation on the, the top floor. Put a, a breach charge on one side of the wall and break for the other, okay? So, you're on one side of the wall, go on the opposite side of the building, blow up that breach charge while making a hole through the wall and shoot behind them because they'll be distracted for that be that's called being unpredictable uh, or someone's chasing after you and what you do is you run hide in a room go prone and just kill them that's being unpredictable rather than you know being really predictable that's how you win gunfights this game um second tip the, um, remember guys i'm going on this vaguely because i don't know if this is going to go off as well uh, the second tip is find your playstyle so as you guys know, in this game there are many operators, some specialise in speed, some specialise in armour, some are the best of both worlds. If you like people that are really agile, have some good weapons, there's a lot of operators to go for. If you like tanky ass mother truckers, who just like tank out absolutely everything, there are plenty of them to go for as well, like Montagna, or Blitz. Uh, the only downside to them guys is they have pistols, but it's really more of a team support player. So if you are a team support player, go for Montagna, go for Blitz. You're not really going to get that many kills with Blitz or Montagna, unless you're just a tank at this game. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. Um, being speedy and thingy is usually good with shotgunners as you're usually roaming around. Trying to find people and killing them from behind. This leads on to another thing. So if you're defending, it's always best to use cameras, alright? Cameras are so important. You want to know where they're spawning from so you can get them from behind. This leads for being unpredictable as well because like, if you spot someone's there, you might want to go from behind them as they know you're ahead of them. Go from behind and kill them. That's good. That using cameras is really important because you'll know where they spawn from. You're going to run down and try to rush their spawn. It's not always going to work out, but hey, I, uh, I, I guess not. Um, a lot of operators now, so this is like the fourth tip. A lot of operators have drones on them, all right? Attackers have drones on them. Not all of them, but some do. Use the drones. They're so important, all right? They're really important. First of all, when the first wave, when you get put into the game, you, you're set into a drone and you have to go over like a certain area. You're going to find the objective. When you find the objective, put that drone somewhere. Alright, that would be the next tip, but I'm gonna, let me just keep elaborating on that. So you're going to put that drone somewhere where it can't be found, alright? After that, keep scanning enemies. That would be another tip as well. Alright, so guys, after you scan the enemies, know your enemy, alright? So you want to know what, what your enemy is. So if it's a cap can, you want to make sure... You want to see if there's no traps in your way. If you see a frost, you want to make sure there's no frost mats you're going to walk into. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Um, basically, just drones are as important. If you want to rush, rush into a room, but you, you're scared there's two guys in there, throw your drone underneath and uh, have a look. Because your drone's also got like ears as well, so you can fucking hear where everyone's coming from. Um, talking about hearing... Um, the fifth tip is use a headset, okay? Um, headset is really important. Um, headsets in a whole, like, it's really good in like Call of Duty and stuff like that. But the headset I use is a Turtle Beach uh, P40s and they are absolutely amazing. No, it's P12s. And uh, they are amazing, for the, especially for the money. Um, I've had like the top of the range headphones and they were shit compared to these. And these are amazing. Yeah, Turtle Beach, sponsor me, would you please? Thank you, much appreciated. Uh, <laughs> uh, headset, sound horn in this game is absolutely amazing, believe it or not. It's just amazing. You can hear footsteps from a fucking mile away. Um, it's, if you can hear where they're coming from, your right or your left, and you have some pretty, you have a good headset, you're, you're pretty much sorted. Um, the only way someone can really counteract that is if they're crouching around. So that will lead me on to the sixth <laughs> topic. Crouching around, hey, look at all these just linking together, isn't it? Just linking together. Uh, <laughs> crouching is a really good thing to do as it keeps you silent. And the only time you really hear a noise is if you're crouching really fast and you're trying to walk around. Um, crouching also gets rid of sound holes. It's not 100% silent, but you're much more quiet than before. Um, going prone 
makes a lot of noise as well, so it's pretty much realistic. You can be heard quite a long way away, but crouching is everywhere. But crouching is also very important because it's very unpredictable at the same time. So, this leads on to the seventh topic, which is aim at the head. Always aim at head level. So, look at my um, my scope now. It's always going to be at head level when someone's crouching. You always want to keep that scope at head level because, as you guys know, it's one hit to the head in all these games. I've seen Chief die a million times because he gets one shot in the head. Um, pretty much it. Um, as you can see there... I pretty much now that guy, he doesn't see me coming because I was crouching and staying stealthy. You don't want to get yourself seen. This is quite a stealthy based game, as my player style is pretty much both. Uh, just keep it at head level. Crouch around, keep the keep the scope towards a head level and hopefully get the shot off. Um, if you know they're going to be running up above, put the scope up to where the head would be and uh, aim it there. And you got yourself pretty much sorted. Um, so, let me recap over that. Is be unpredictable, find your player style. Use cameras, drones are important, headset sound horn is absolutely amazing, crouch everywhere, and always aim at your head level. And there's more tips than that. Uh, if you guys do want to see some more, uh, just remember, let me know. Uh, another tip is, alright, I should really make another video about this. Uh, it's pretty much like an exploit in this game, in a way, is that you want it's not even an exploit I'm not actually I'll, I'll make another video about that absolutely totally differently okay because there's no point um, this is a tips video not that is you need to work as a teammate so in your team it's essential if you're attacking to have a firmite and that's it you need a firmite to get through those breaching walls all right another thing is another topic is make sure the gun that you're using and you operate suits you so if you like shotgun go with shotguns all right if you like SMGs, go with SMGs. A lot of defenders are SMGs. Like ARs, go with ARs, alright? Um, there's a lot of good SMGs out there, like Bandit uses, uses um, MP7. Um, Glaz uses a sniper. He's only one of the most highest powered gun in the game. So watch out for him. He can shoot for the plain windows. No other gun can do that. Um, remember, the operator's actual abilities themselves, like Ash's um, breaching charge, can actually destroy a lot of things. I will go into a further video on that if you guys, uh, if this video gets a lot of uh, likes and stuff, I will talk more about operators and how it affects you. Um, that's it. That's pretty much all the tips I have for you. Not, I've got way more. Uh, like, just working as a good team. Communication is key in this game. It's a team-based game. That's what it is. You play a mobile, you need to have good teamwork to actually win. That's what you need to do in this game. You need to be, like I said, unpredictable. You just need to take advantage and use all the resources available to you. And you, you're pretty much sorted. So uh, if you guys want to see another video on like what's best for you, operators, how, what's the best play style class, what's the best class in the game, let me know. Um, just, as always, dude, um, like comment and subscribe and uh, I'm pretty sure in this game I went 8 and 0 in this ranked game so yeah um, I hope you guys do enjoy the video uh, remember stay tuned for daily videos in the holidays I guess and uh, yeah um, it's been your boy Arrow and uh, share the video and peace bye